Oh, I'm so full. Hi, good morning or afternoon, wherever you are. Christmas is over and I am sad. Oh, I'm so full. So yesterday was Christmas and it was such a great day. We got up, we went upstairs. Guys, I am literally still full from yesterday. I married into an Italian family and I haven't stopped eating since I got here. And I'm not complaining because everything that I eat is delicious and amazing, but I literally am so full. <laughs> Still, and it's been probably like 15 hours since I ate anything. But Laura made a really yummy, what they call a pork pie, and it's basically like ground pork and ground um, hamburger, I think, and mashed potatoes baked into a pie crust. And I had like three slices of it yesterday, and then she made the most amazing lasagna for dinner. And then she also put out leftovers from the night before, which TJ made, and that was Kahlua pork and mac salad. And I love food so much that I couldn't stop eating it because it was all just so good. And here I am today. I honestly think that a little bit of it is like acid reflux. I did drink a lot of Prosecco yesterday, so I think that is also a contributing factor to my stomach uncomfortableness, I would say. For the most part, we pretty much just like chilled all day yesterday. I did a Christmas puzzle. We went skiing. We opened presents. It was just a really nice, chill, relaxing day. As you can see, I'm folding laundry. This room is a freaking disaster hole. I'm gonna put y'all on a time lapse while I clean this shit. Uh, I literally cleaned the other day. Like, look at this. <laughs> like, what? What's hap- my teeth are on the side table. We just spent our morning in bed, like watching YouTube videos. So I'm going to clean this place up. Oh my God, does everyone else feel less anxious than I do? Look at, look at how clean it is now. And then I did all the dishes and everything over here. Hi, I'm out of breath. I feel great. I love cleaning and feeling like I have my life together, even though I don't. Say hi, mom. <laughs> hi, everybody. Hi. Happy holidays. I'm home for Christmas, but I'm actually leaving today. I guess I'm not home for Christmas anymore when you watch it. I brought Zane and Heath's coffee for my dad to try. I brought a bunch of these like house, I, I, well, I brought all three of them. Bunch of, and they're all gone except for one. I told Zayn and he was like, ask your dad if you would replace his coffee with ours. <laughs> he was like, I mean, I honestly probably would, but not every time. <laughs> so I was like, that's fair. My dad's a very just like whatever's on sale at Costco. You know, we got the Kirkland little K-cups. What are you making? An uh, egg casserole? Apples with cinnamon, sugar, baked apples. Aren't you making like an egg casserole? Yeah. Oh my god, I'm so excited. If you guys remember my dog. Ginger. Ginger's still kicking it. What are you doing? What are you doing? She's like, I don't know. Please get away from me though. I can't wait to see Frank. We've been away from Frank for like three days and he's probably devastated, but Mike sheffer has been checking up on him and stuff and sending me videos of him purring so loud. Your video is cracking me up. I'm just talking to the camera the whole time. I don't know that I could do that. I don't have enough to say. It's because you're a boomer. <laughs> you guys take your Facebook pictures like this. <laughs> You'd be vlogging like this. I heard this thing that like millennials tend to film themselves up here and then I think Gen Z is more down here. I think we were so used to like MySpace and stuff and like those MySpace pictures you would take them above your head. You're gonna stay here. He hates us so he'll be here with you. Going on a walk. I'm psyched. Why? Why? A beautiful hike. The weather's beautiful. The snow is just starting. It'll be like a winter wonderland and we're gonna enjoy it. Yep. And who's not coming? Poopy boy. <laughs> Poopy boy stay home Cold, with Poopy girl. It's snowy, it's dark, <laughs> and I don't feel like putting on all those And you clothes. hate us. Trying to get him to go on a spite hike. Well, I was trying to get him to ski yesterday, remember? Yeah. And he yelled at me, just sit down. Don't you ever relax. <laughs> yeah. Just relax. And then that's what I said to him when my parents called us. Like They were like, are you guys going to go skiing? And I said, no, TJ hates skiing. <laughs> he said, why don't you just relax for once? <laughs> <laughs> that's right. And then guess who went skiing? He spite skied. He spite skied. <laughs> How's our spite hike working? It's not working at all. Damn. Also, I wasn't the only one 
who felt extremely full. That's why we're going. That's right. We got to go get rid of this. Erin and I had raisin bran this morning. And that's just it. Kind of it's also 1 p.m. now. Out. We're still waiting for it to work. Yeah. <laughs> we're very full, but we're getting ready and we're going to go. We're on our little hike, hike, walk, hike. hike. This is definitely a hike. And look at how pretty it's snowing. We have to do it in increments because our breath. 55 steps. We made it. <laughs> yeah. This time we started at 20. Yep. We've been adding five ever since. Now we'll try to make 60. Oh boy. Oh boy. There better be an oxygen tank up there. <laughs> you know, for real. Let's keep going. We're about three quarters of the way there. It's really snowing, but we are, where is it? We are trying to get there. To that ski lift. We will do it. We will make I'm it. I'm struggling. How are you? <laughs> Tim is the leader of the pack. We're close. Probably 20 more minutes. <laughs> <laughs> Two more 40s. We're so close. Two more 40s. We can see the promised land. Ah, victory. We made it. Oh boy. We made it. <laughs> Come on! <laughs> we did it! Oh god! I'm gonna ask this guy to take me down on his jet ski. <laughs> See you guys later. Alright, we're back. We're gonna go see Frank! I'm yeah. so excited! I'm gonna film his reaction because I feel like it's gonna be really cute, but I also feel like he's gonna be pissed at us. Yeah. He'll be very meowy and excited, but last time he got like angry after that. I can hear him. Frank! Frank! Oh. Frank, hi baby! Oh, you're oh, so goodness. cute! I missed you, baby! Yeah! Come here! Yeah. Oh! He was oh, nope, he doesn't want to be held. Hi! Oh, I missed him! Look at him! Come here! I need him! What do you think of Oh! Frank, we missed you so much, babies. Are you mad? Yeah, I think he's mad. No, he's boring. Is he? Yeah. <laughs> Sweet. So spoiled. I, know. I wonder if this is warm, if he was like laying here. It's so warm. Yeah? Yeah? yeah. yeah. What? Yeah. What are you thinking, baby? Yeah? yeah? Thinking, no, no. Oh. Yeah. yeah. I got packaging. Yeah. Frank, come here. Come here. Come here. Hi. Literally, we were gone for two full days. <laughs> yes, giddy. Mwah. Yeah. <laughs> Let's get into these packages. Oh, this is Coco Kind. So I think this is like a skincare brand. And I'm so freaking excited because they DM me and they were like, can we send you things? And I was like, literally, please do. <gasps> oh my God. Look how many things are in here. <laughs> Gold skin nourishing highlighter. <laughs> Rose water toner. <laughs> I just maced myself. It's like, it's really st a strong spray. Oh, he's getting in the box. He is fully in the box. Oh, I'm so happy to be home with him. You want to show everyone what you got for Christmas? From mom mom? Show everyone what you got for Christmas. <laughs> she said, I just want to go to sleep. She's so tired. <laughs> it's not time for claws. You drank too many claws today? Did you get this for Christmas? Hi, baby. Are you so sleepy? Laura got Paris. These cute little white claw cans that are squeaky toys, but they're called white paws. And she got this flavor and then like the raspberry one. And it is so cute. Paris loves them so much. She's so tired right now though. Sleep with your white paw. But I wanted to show you the best gift I have ever received that I'm not sure if I should also take it as a hint that I maybe talk about The Real Housewives too much to people who do not care about The Real Housewives. So Laura, being the best mother-in-law in the whole world, got me this shirt for Christmas and I'm so excited. I'm going to wear it every time that I watch the ladies. I just think that it's so sweet and so thoughtful because she doesn't care about them. <laughs> at all doesn't watch them nothing but she has listened to me talk about these crazy hoes for years now and she remembered and she got me a real housewife's <laughs> long sleeve shirt 
and I'm so excited about it. They also got us these cute robes. You know, I love a robe, but they say bride and groom, so we can wear them on our wedding day, which I just think is so sweet and so thoughtful and so depressing. It's funny that like we were supposed to get married in April and now it's December and she can still buy us gifts for our wedding that was already supposed to have happened, like to have for our wedding day. 2020 brides, I hear you, I see you. She also got Whitey some stuff, but we won't know what that is until we get home. Whitey. Oh, look Where's at you, you little Whitey? booze hound. Where's Whitey? <gasps> Hi, Whitey. Oh, Whitey. Whitey. Come here. <laughs> Where's Whitey? Where is she? TJ's been messing with Paris for the past four days. Every day he'll be like, Whitey! In Paris, she could be in a dead sleep, like passed out under the covers. She'll hear like, why? And come out from burrowing, look all around the room, go to the edge of the bed, check the floor. It's so funny and so cute. I don't know if it's cause she's like excited. I think she sort of like secretly wants Whitey to be here. Other than that, for the rest of the day, we haven't really done much. I went on the hike, which was really fun, very hard to breathe. And then we came home, I showered, and then I watched The Crown and fell asleep. <laughs> and then we went upstairs and Laura and I were trying to do a puzzle that we've have been trying to do for the past two days which, and it was very hard and then we ate dinner and watched home alone three and now we're just gonna watch some entourage so we'll see you in a bit look how cute you are thought i would maybe do a little unpacking segment because i don't know i actually really don't have much to unpack because i was there for two days and yes i brought a suitcase <laughs> oh look at these oh the most perfect slippers of all time what are you doing do not claw my broke linen sheets. I already scratched a little hole in them and I'm so devastated. No, but really, please don't scratch. Why don't you be playful down here? I brought my hard drive and my little adapter so I could import footage because I edited our Christmas video and I had to do vlogmas. Also, I had my battery charger for the camera. Didn't use it and I should because now it's at two little bars. And then I showed my vlogmas this, so if you didn't watch that, here you go. Um, I have these bags. Oh my God, there's like, matches oh my god oh my god aesthetic oh but i have these random bags i think they were either from the p.o box or they were a pr package i can't remember but all i remember was that there were like literally over 10 of these bags oh my god <laughs> ofra oh my god i'm so dumb i don't know how to say it. ofra ofra i always use them for toiletries or makeup you know i've got my sunscreen my setting spray that i didn't use because i didn't put any makeup on the whole time but you know just in case i guess blush that has no lid i know it's disgusting but you know oh my god more do i like purple i think i like purple i didn't realize and obviously my chargers this crew neck that i wear basically every day brush and more sweatpants and a shirt and underwear and my sleeping mask. I did not bring one actual outfit because why would I? Yes? I need to put this all away because if I don't put this all away right this second, it will sit here until I move next week. I move next week. I'm actually really excited. It's coming up fast and I feel like nothing is really packed. Everything's still on the walls. <laughs> like obviously, obviously it doesn't take that long to pack, but I feel like it just feels kind of overwhelming just seeing everything still just chilling in its own place. If I put all of this away and do my laundry, I will feel very proud of myself. I wanna know the real reason I'm moving? It's so my cat can have a big open space. I'm just kidding, I'm totally getting kicked out of here. But that is a good reason. I also want my cat to have a bigger area. And the exciting thing is there's stairs there. Frank will be able to run up and down stairs. Like, I'm so excited. Guess who fell asleep watching Entourage and didn't get to film an outro? this girl. I just wanted to thank you guys so much for sticking with us through this year. I know that we've had a huge content shift, but we really appreciate all of your love and support and I hope that even though things changed for us, somehow it brought you some sort of happiness or comfort during this like incredibly crazy year. I know this year has been really challenging and really hard, but here we are, it's December. It's about to be 2021. This week is gonna be 2021. That is crazy. That is so insane to me. I cannot believe that it's about to be a new year. Like hoping for better things in 2021, but I just wanted to extend my gratitude to you guys for all you've done for us in 2020. Okay guys, well I'm going to hit the hay. Oh, but I wanted to show this cute little pajama set that I got from Free People. And when I ordered it, I was like, I think it's cute, but I don't know. And I literally got it like three weeks ago and I just haven't really tried it on yet because I 
I got it and I was like, I don't understand this top. And I'll show you in a second so you know what I mean. <laughs> but I think it's so cute. Look at this. So when this top isn't on, it looks so bizarre because it looks so short and then obviously so long. But I, I mean, when it's on, it makes sense. But I was just like, huh? But I'm just like, I just feel cute and cozy. <laughs> right, Frank? Okay. But yeah, that's it for me. Literally most of the day was driving back from Vegas. We actually had to stop a couple times because I didn't realize this, but when it's really windy, it like affects the battery, or not battery, but it affects the distance. I don't really get it, but we had to stop a couple times to charge because basically what happens is you stop and then it, it only makes you stay there for like 10 to 15 minutes just to get you to the next charger or to home. And so when we left my parents, it was like, oh, you can stop in two hours because it's all fully charged. We stopped in two hours. We stayed there for like 30 minutes. That was all we really needed. But then as we kept driving home, the wind was so strong and it was just like weird that it said, stay below 70 miles to get home without having to charge again. But like the speed limit was 75 and we were not about to go like 68 in a 75. So we ended up having to stop a couple times. I don't know, it was kind of annoying, but I still don't regret driving the Tesla. It took longer to get back than what I thought, but you know what, it's all good. I'm in a cute pajama set, so who cares? Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe and we will see you on Tuesday. Our last video of 2020 is on Tuesday. That is crazy. Okay, we'll see you then. Bye. Bye.